Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. We'll be back once again, guys, with another reaction video. The video is highly requested from one of you guys. So, if you have any suggestion to request for more video, all you need to do is leave a comment below and turn on the post notification. Or you can also DM me on my Instagram. Link is also in the description down below. For those of you that come across to this channel in this video, I upload videos every day. If you like the content and you want to be part of the journey, consider subscribing and turn on the post notification so that you can find any time new videos uploaded on this channel. So today reaction will be reacting incredible uh, scene food in Ethiopian. I think uh is street food. I don't know. I've not watched the video yet. So it's my first time watching and reacting in the video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Yo, um, I just want to say this real quick. Uh, do you guys prefer taking coffee in the morning or uh, normal tea? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Like, which one do you love, coffee or normal tea? I just want to know. Let's jump into it. The plan for today is uh, in about 15 minutes. You can tell this dude is actually enjoying the Ethiopian food. You can tell by looking at him. He's enjoying the first part. Go Ethiopian back and watch food. the first part. Uh, but we're driving to Araba Minch, which is a two hour drive. And from there, we're going to explore the Dorze tribe yeah, and we're going to go to a village. And that happens to be where Desi from Go Ades is what? from. What are they found in? to learn about their culture, uh, the tribe, and the food. Um, one of the things that they're known for is false banana, which we're yeah, going to learn about mixing. and explore. So right after we finish breakfast, we're heading out. Look how yellow it is, though. Is that egg? It looks like egg. I think there are onions in there. Coffee. Egg with coffee. Does that match together? You can always count on the coffee to be great in Ethiopia. Uh, this is what they were blending back in the kitchen. Mango juice. Oh my god. Egg, coffee, or maybe tea, and mango juice. Oh yeah, that's just all straight together. up mango blended. Oh, it's thick and rich and delicious. That's really good. Yeah. Shark real fast because on the side of the road we saw some of the the unique gravestone uh, markers. That is him who was oh, the hero. Okay. And then the for the one from the left uh, left side, uh -huh. the second one. Who are these the people? One from the right side. Oh, so this is like a whole family. Whole family. They're called Waka. 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 Is the name of the statue. Uh, okay. Made their own job. Driving past the side of the road. Hey, if you are from this city or maybe I should call it a village, Waka, comment below. Let me know the history about those uh should I call it uh history of uh molding some human beings or maybe some region that have been gone for a long time. Like leave a comment, let me know about this Waka. I don't know how they call it Waka. Look at the look at the truck now. People saying hi to Micah. That guy's a... Micah. Bye bye. 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 Bye experience races like ethiopian you never experience races there they are just, look at how happy they are looking and shaking the white in africa we don't do races again we don't do races i really like that Starting to just mix. 
Someone at the back of the car. Why not jump inside the car like, no, you will hurt yourself, dude. It's not funny being at the back of a car. What should I call this a house? The main hut and it's it's spectacular the construction. Yeah, they're known to beautiful. look like an elephant with the front section <laughs> um, like the giant nose and then there's eyes to like look like um chimneys. I'm gonna step inside. Um, I wonder how the inside. Yeah, I think we need the light. Oh my yeah. god. Oh ah. why do you see that? Oh, is there a lamp back there? That's a, a, a goat? Yeah, it's good. really big in here. You can see the the ceiling at the top there, the arch ceiling, uh, but it's really nice and warm in here compared to outside. Um, and then the seats, if you can see, if you can see, are made from cowhide. That is old days. Shit. Gonna take a Yo, I take a seat. <laughs> the shit is old oh, days. Shit. They kind of recline like like hammock cow skin. This is your home. Yeah, this is your. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I was born raised in a house like this. So you're on Dorze, which is uh, the elevation of 2,500 meters above sea level. And Dorze is mainly known for weaving. Uh, Yo, I want to say this very quick. It doesn't matter how famous you are, how rich you are, you have a bunch of cars, bunch of mansions. Like, you will never forget where you came from. You will never forget where you came from. It doesn't matter how famous people know you, how famous you are in music industry or in job you can't forget where you came from like you don't do that their clothes their fences if you saw the fences uh -huh. Uh -huh. even the house is made by uh waving process and is it mostly out of bamboo everything out of bamboo hello so, uh, hello. 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 so there is a uh, when the milk is boiling they will be putting the the bulla which is the yeah, squeezed milk. fermented kind of uh, banana. First banana. Ah, How is it okay. possible? Cooking meal. I wonder how you do it. Yeah, the banana we cook it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they just brought in the plate of bula, which is the false banana. It has this sour aroma to it because it's been fermented. Um, and then it's kind of powdery right now. Yeah, 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 I remember those days. <laughs> those days of the really nice. She's just whisking that in. She has this. Mama hustling to make sure the kids they uh, eat something. Stirring as she adds the false banana and then just whipping that up into uh, into the porridge, and you can hear that just start to bubble away and steam. Oh hi, Micah. Stepping out of the hut right now as she's making that, but I wanted to see her pounding. So she's mixing uh, so the, the, the milk with some milk drink. What is that? It's very, very cold for good for cold. Wow. And we drink that's something I've never seen. There will be chili, there will be onion. Inside of the leaves. She put us a spice after she makes the tea. Happy leaves. Pounding leaves. Should I call it the hot? Yeah, uh, house? I don't know what to call it. Okay, Just call it hot. This is the garlic? Yes, she's going for me. Okay. There's a lot of mixing. A lot of mixing. Gary, milk, uh, uh, flour, powder, and this looks like egg. I don't know if it's an egg. And sometimes they put lemon grass in it. She added in some powdered fenugreek, uh, and then that's going in the porridge, and she's still kind of whipping it up. Wow. It's that milk. Another dish 
Chuck E's gonna make his false banana also, but it's a stir fried or fried version. Uh, so she had this, she has this metal pan, a uh, rounded pan, so she stuck over the fire, and then she put the rest of that false banana, and then she's just kind of mixing it on that hot plate. Like, you do that, it's like a little, little pellets almost. 
Look at his mouth. <laughs> He's even feeling the taste. Wow, that's a like completely different texture. Each little grain is like its own sticky, washing just, like, again, little, washing little again. gummy balls. And then you do taste the chili in there. The butter also makes it moist. Little gummy pellets. Look at his mouth. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got a kind of gummy. You got to kind of kind of work at it and chew it. But then as you chew it, you get that flavor. And the garlic. You will have um, the holy water, mm. which is very good for digestion. We use the roux, which you drank mainly. Oh, they so they put roux, like, which is mainly for coffee. For coffee? Yes, guys. Is that a bar or something? Maybe. Yo, 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 yo! Yo! Is that how they say she is? Yo, 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 yo! That was fun. <laughs> you know what? It starts to sort of have the, the tapioca pearl texture and those little little balls to them. Just like a whole mouthful of them though. Okay, yeah, we can continue. Okay, we're gonna go see the this whole thing in it and so this go going. around the the compound a little bit in the village. Man, you can just tell how that porridge, it would just, it, it's so filling, um, and it would just, it would just sit in your stomach, but oh, it, it is good, it's, it's, it really is a flavor combination I've never had before. Yeah. She's going to show us the entire process of the false banana now, and false banana is one of the most important oh, foods for the dose. Uh, behind me, these are all false bananas, and you can see they're giant. Huge chunks, yeah, so, um, and then oh the, the leaves just kind of sprout upwards. Uh, but the reason that they're called false bananas is because they don't produce fruit. They don't produce bananas that you can eat. Uh, that's what I was the, thinking. What's How come there's no the, bananas? The stumps, um, and that's what's used for food. Ethiopia is one of the one of the, the main places where you can eat false banana in this region. Uh, it's so the staple. <laughs> So, so this, this is the stump part. This is the stump part. part. So this is the stump part, which will be fermented for three months. Oh yeah, it smells it's like very green banana. banana. It smells like green banana. After she's crushed, it becomes very, very tough by the It's really, really that? juicy as well. You can see the juice coming out of it. So the color there was very green. After three months of the fermentation, the smell already changed into cheesy. Mm, yeah, it does kind of smell cheesy. Like a mild cheese. My guy has that aroma. <laughs> the little boy wants to eat it. It's almost like a dough uh, that is the result of the fermentation. And now, the, the process before you eat it though, or before you cook it, she still has to chop it with a knife uh, because there's so many fibers within it so that you can break those fibers. Now she's she chopped it up and is mixing it with some water. Uh, so here you're gonna be called okay. So this is definitely a staple food guess. and a process I even an ingredient I've never seen anywhere else in the world. The pancake made from the false banana that she just prepared, which it's called kocho. Um, and now they are they're building a fire with leaves especially so they get the flame. Uh, and then they put the, the false banana, it's wrapped in banana, the false banana leaves, which come from right here. Um, and then it's gonna cook over the fire, over that hot griddle.
is again something I've never tried and something I never, I've never even thought of. Oh, oh wow, that's almost like a, like a soup. You taste so the coffee, the coffee, of it. And the coffee, the garlic, and then it has like almost like a tea undertone. The coffee don't wow, have a taste of coffee. That's something I have a taste uh, of. That's soup. totally new. How is it possible? Wow, you can really taste the garlic. Oh, this, this is the nothing like we call it tomato sauce, but it's very like very coffee. spicy. It's chili, chili. Okay. Take this like this. It's very spicy. Okay, so the kocho is served, and there's a little dish in the middle. Part of it is honey, Spice. and then part of it is a chili sauce. So you can eat them together, kind of sweet and savory at the same time, uh, or you can just try one of the one of the dips. Mmm. Oh, the sauce. You can taste those spices. Okay, now he's dunk, dunked in that honey, and that's just natural honey. Ethiopia is known for honey. Yeah, I like honey. Everyone do honey. I like honey. Wow. Oh, that honey is awesome. Yeah. Thing is loving the honey. <laughs> Even yeah, though it's really disgusting and bad, they are still smiling. <laughs> so thick and so sweet. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna try to mix a little chili and honey. That's just a beautiful combination of spicy and sweet and crunchy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. They're, they're going back to the city. We had to race down the mountain back to Arpamej because we have to catch our flight. Uh, but anyway, so I didn't really even get to do an ending video uh, at the village. But learning about the Dorse culture, that was fascinating. It was another learning experience. The huts, the culture, the food. Totally new food that I've never seen before. Uh, and we were almost at the airport, but we're just going to quickly stop for a very cup, quick cup of coffee before we catch our flight. Do you remember that coffee? Yeah, that Can you eat the meat? Or is it only the coffee? Cheers. Like, comment below in your opinions. I want to know. Can you also eat the coffee? Like, can you drink the coffee? Why? Can you eat the meat with the coffee? Let me know.
<coughs> trees like the way they plant the trees they're all looking beautiful the bamboo wall the hut they call it elephant hut i guess that's how they call it in their village i really love the video i enjoy watching the video if you enjoy watching the video too give the video a thumbs up link of the channel will be in the description down below you can also go and support the build you know he's a vlogger he traveled a lot i wish i would visit ethiopian one more I, I wish with your support i will so support the channel by subscribing and turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified anytime a new video is uploaded on this channel and also don't forget to dm me for more requests link in the description down below if you want to dm me on my instagram or you can leave the comment below in the comment section hopefully i will meet you guys in the next video for now that are annoying that love you it's the ones that will sit there and and, and blow you blow you up for hours and check on you 24 7 and annoy the fuck out of you kid it's okay to be annoying